toss up. Go in, boys. Hello, good game. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello, the game. Today, we have a mono white historic deck for you guys. This is brought to you by Ill Jumper MT, and I think he got about 438 uh, in the mythic rank, which is really, really good. So, we're going to take a look at the deck. Let's talk a little bit about the strategy, get into some gameplay footage, and then come full circle with some closing thoughts. Thanks for watching Hello the Game. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you find any value within this video. Our deck starts off with just a ton of one drops, you guys. We have four Dauntless Bodyguards. This is a creature, a human knight, 2 1. As it enters the battlefield, choose another creature you control. Sacrifice Dauntless Bodyguard. The chosen creature gains indestructible until end of turn. So, this is nice. Not typically one of the things you want to drop first because of the effect where you need a creature out before him to target. But when you do sacrifice him, that targeted creature will gain indestructible. But again, a 2 1 for 1, that's cool. Giant Killer, a 1 2 with Chop Down, a 3 cost instant adventure. Destroy target card, sorry, destroy target creature with power 4 or greater. And then as the creature, you can pay 2 plus tapping it to tap target creature. Sky Marcher Aspirant, this is a 2 1 with Ascend, meaning you need 10 or more permanents on the field to gain Ascend, at which point uh, it will gain flying as long as you have City's Blessing. And uh, City's Blessing is what you call Ascend once you have the 10 permanents. So it'll be a 2-1 flyer eventually, but to begin the game, just a 2-1. Snubhorn Sentry. This is a 0-3. We have two copies of this. This also has Ascend, and Snubhorn Sentry gets plus 3, plus 0, as long as you have City's Blessing. Again, that includes having 10 permanents on the field. Legion's a Landing. When Legion's Landing enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. When you attack with three or more creatures, transform Legion's Landing into Adanto, the first fort. If we can get back to that. Um, however, Adanto, the first fort, now becomes a land. You can tap it for planes. You can pay three with it being tapped, right, to create a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink. So four in total. Moving on to our two drops, we have Adanto Vanguard. This is a 1-1. One, one. However, it gains plus two, plus zero as long as it's attacking. And then you can pay four life. Adanto Vanguard gains indestructible until end of turn. We have two copies of Tomic Distinguished Advocates. This is a 2 3 with flying, so really good base value here. Lands on the battlefield and land cards and graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities your opponents control. Your opponent can't play land cards from their graveyards. Moving on to our three drops, we have four copies of Benelish Marshall, a staple mark of Mono White. 3 3 creature for three. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Two copies of Unbreakable Formation. This is an instant spell. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. It has addendum on it, which means if you cast this spell during your main phase, put a 1-1 one -one counter on each of those creatures and they gain vigilance until end of turn. We have four copies of History of Benalia. This is an enchantment saga. On turn one and on turn two, you create a 2-2 white knight with vigilance. On turn three, knights you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. We have two copies of Ranger of Eos. This is a four drop. When Ranger of Eos enters the battlefield, you may search your library for up to two creature cards with converted mana cost one or less. Reveal them, put them into your hand if you do shuffle your library. Finally, but certainly not least, we have Venerated Loxodon, or four creature with Convoke for five. When Venerated Loxodon enters the battlefield, put a one one counter on each creature that Convoked it. Convoke means your creatures can help cast the spell. Each creature you tap while casting this spell pays for one of the mana of that creature's color. So that's really, really cool. And of course, we have four Castle Arden Veils. Castle Arden Veil enters the battlefield tapped unless you control planes. You can tap it to add a planes, and you can also tap it and pay four mana to create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. So five in total. A little expensive, but it gets you through the day. So that's our deck list. Let's break down the strategy. Before we do, I should mention that we played today in best of one, but the deck does come fully equipped for best of three. We have three Baffling Ends, three Hushbringers, four Gideon Backblades, three Conclave Tribunals, and two Lyra Dawnbringers. If you guys have any questions about the sideboard, make sure to jump in the Discord and we'll help you sort that out. Like I said, let's jump into the strategy. So it is an aggro deck, which basically means put your creatures on the field, turn them sideways, kill your opponent. It should be as easy as that. Sometimes we run into roadblocks and have to rebuild, but ideally we don't. We're looking out for definitely Clarion, Shatter the Skies, um, Settle the Wreckage, things like that, right? Because we are playing Historic. So there are a ton of field wipes 
available to our opponent, uh, not just in white, but in like Cry of the Carnarium. We have a ton of field whites all over, right? Um, Storm's Wrath, that new red card. So um, I guess the main thing is flood the field with 1-1s, one right? If you got the 2-2s two out there, uh, get them out there as well. You want to flood the field with creatures. Adelish Marshall is a must. Generate a Loxodon as soon as you can, right? If you can flood the field with these creatures and tokens, you can venerate Loxodon on them. You should be able to kill your opponent as long as they can't wipe you. If not, do your best, right? Ranger of Eos is really cool to grab the giant killer if you need to remove some of his creatures. If you want to just extend with evasion, grab the flyer. And then if you just want to bash because there's no blockers, grab Snubhorn Sentry. So that's going to be a 3-3, which is really, really cool. So general strategy, like I said, throw everything on the field, right? Tap it or convoke it with venerated Loxodon. Make everything bigger, better, and stronger and smash in. Don't be afraid to withhold a Banalish Marshal in your hand, right? To have that as your last card played. Because if they do have removal, that's sorcery speed. And they're not going to get your Banalish Marshal before you get the, uh, the basic buff that's giving all of your creatures plus one, plus one. And when you go wide... When you're stacking plus ones from Banalish Marshals, you're stacking them from Venonated Loxodons, you're stacking them from your history of Banalia. There's, uh, there's plenty of ways to get those three, four creatures up to four and five toughness and just smash your opponent. So that's our general strategy, you guys. Don't forget to tap your Castle Ardenvale to make that 1-1 one, one with life gain if you're not using your mana on anything else. With that all being said, make sure to check us out live on Twitch every single morning, 6 a.m. PST. You can also jump in the Discord, link in the description below. If you'd like to continue this conversation throughout your day, maybe you have some questions, suggestions, anything like that, we'd love to hear you out. Don't forget to check out our beginner's handbook and our monthly free to enter cash prized brawl tournament. All of these links in the description below and all of this is re-mentioned within the Discord at a continual basis to refresh you on it. So that's the most important thing to do is just jump in the Discord, you guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Send this video out to a friend who you think might find value in it. Now let's get into some gameplay footage. All right, you guys, hand looks fine. If we draw the third land, we're laughing. If not, it could be a struggle, but I believe, I do believe. We're having pretty terrible luck. Uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. Not my favorite deck, but it is a list that I wanted to showcase. If our opponent plays mono white to Johnny, I am going to lose my mind with a Soul Warden. Oof. This is the Mono White that I'm looking to play. Okay, so this is pretty nice. Let's get our Sentry in there. Uh, no threat, but we can now enchant it with our Bodyguard. Looking for our third land. Going right in to look at our whole hand. Doesn't get much of anything though. We do pull our third land, so that's good. I imagine he has further hand hate. Wow, willing to do that. Makes sense, I don't have anything less than two mana in my hand anymore, so one can only assume. Grab a fourth land, that might be too much. Let's start out with these knights. If I could stack histories, that would be kind of cool. It's Grixis, you guys. He's taking a Banalish Marshal. Aaron Tizzled. Oh my god, but it immediately replaces itself. That's funny. Okay, all of our cards now safe from Cry of the Carnarium. That's going to be pretty important. Ooh, pays life for that. And you go Bolus. Making us discard. Ah, uh, acceptable. I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's toss our Loxodon. Marshal in the his house. Makes all of our creatures safe from his Nico Bolus. What oh, wonderful luck we finally had, you guys. Our opponent's down to one. Bolus in the graveyard. Only one. Card in his hand, draws to two. Give him the hello good game. And finally, this is how the deck is meant to be played. Rixus control down the drain. 
Good game. Okay, you guys, I like the hand if we draw the third land, opponent goes first. We're gonna try and uh, and get it here. We do get a one drop, which is nice. We still need that third land. We've jumped into a personal challenge, a direct challenge. If you wanna challenge us, jump into the Discord, share your gamer tag in our gamer tags chat, and uh, then we can play each other. We do get our third land. That's awesome. But uh, the queue time was going over a minute and uh, we had this challenge pop up. So the second match isn't in Mythic. This is a personal challenge against who I can only assume is a Discord member. Rhythm of the Wild in the house. Oh my God, my turn. So we're in a weird position. Rhythm of the Wild. I don't think he's gonna wipe our field. And I still want to attack this turn. So we go history, let's smash. Then we can Loxodon and then we can Unbreakable Formation. So it looks good. I think he's dropping for four. Okay, Cloth, God of Destiny. So that's going to gain him life every turn. So we need to really uh, get our butts in gear here. Lock everybody down. Yeah, there's no need to do everybody. Let's only do the guys with summoning sickness. And then everybody else is still free to hit. Getting that damage in down to eight. And really, he needs to wipe the field in a big way. I don't think he's got it. Let's toss up. Go in, boys. Hello. Good game. That is a big hit down to minus 20. Ouch! All right, we were able to get through the queue pretty quickly. Two land, two marshals, one drop, two drop. It's the same situation, opponent goes first. We can get that third land drop, we're gonna be laughing. Mono red, that's very bad for us. Loxodon does help, especially if we get the third land. Oh, okay, that was uh, Master Blaster from the, uh, the Twitch chat that we just played. I really like this gentleman's name, U Uastaru. I appreciate that. I like to imagine that's what his owl's name is. Okay, he strikes up top, wants to light up the stage. That means he's having land issues. He does get it. And he does drop another Firebrand, interesting. We get our third land, which I absolutely love you guys. Uh, marshals are going out as soon as possible. I guess we attack here, only makes sense. Get that damage in, boy. Okay, Runaway Steamkin, he wants to spend his turn as stack. It is the smartest thing to do. Okay. Another layer of the stage, fine. Into a land, into a Chain Whirler. Let's just buff everybody up. Let's throw down as well. <sighs> Needs to remove our Vanellish Marshal now with some sort of direct damage. Which he's gonna do and now he... Oh no, he'll still be able to get it. Because now his uh, Steamkin goes to four. He can attack with his Steamkin. 
and then play his Chain Whirler, which is pretty commendable, in all honesty. I don't want to lose the Marshal, so we'll let him play his Chain Whirler. He goes pretty wide. We're down to eight. That's good for him, you guys, like, in a big way. The Unbreakable Formation is pretty cool for us. I'm not going to lie. One, two, three, four, five. We'd need to do everybody, but then we don't have enough blockers is the thing. Let's pass our turn. Another Pyromancer is pretty good, going nice and wide. We do have the kills on all his creatures, he can't attack. To our formation. And then we can attack. I actually, uh, I meant to do our history there. I, don't, I said formation and I cast formation, but my brain was uh, thinking history. So I guess this at least works, right? We do remove two of his creatures, which is good. And we still have all of this going down. One, two, which we should just use to tap him actually, right? Before his attack phase. Let's remove the Steamkin or the Chain Whirler from battle, depending on what he does. Good game, he's not doing anything. We just beat rank 821, you guys. That's Mono White Historic, you guys. We think we found a better Mono White Historic, though. Uh, that gentleman smashed us down with Sierra Angel uh, and Soul Warden so hard and so quickly. That was absolutely groovy, I loved it. Um, this was Ill Jumper MT's version though. He got to 438 Mythic rank, which is incredible. Good work, bro. Um, I liked it. We did have a little bit of struggle with it, but again, great deck. Mono white, mono red. It's a go-to. It's going to get you a Mythic, no problem, you guys. I definitely recommend this. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're also live on Twitch every single morning, 6 a.m. PST if you want to jump in there. You can also join our Discord link in the description below. If you'd like to continue this conversation throughout your day, that way we can remind you of all of the community functions going around, the gem giveaways, the brawl tournaments. Uh, like there's so many things going on, it's not even funny. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for spending your time with me. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow, same time. If you liked today's Thanks. video, be sure to check out some of our other content. We built playlist for our guides for beginners, and then we also have our greatest hits, which is a collection of our most popular videos. You can also subscribe if you're interested in winning up to 500,000 gems. So do that, tap that like button, send this out to a friend who you think might be interested in it as well, and have a great day.